Hey, what's up all you wonderful people? Surreal Canine here, back with more Disgaea Dimension 2. In the last episode, we uh, went through the item world for the first time, and we had a pretty good time. We're not loading up my post-game file. I should have gotten some water before I started, oh well. <laughs> So yeah, uh, let's see if it's, uh, they already put it back on the guy. I did not. So yeah, here we are with our, uh, newly leveled up Kung Fu Muscle. It's level 10, it's got 152 HP now, which is pretty nice. Forget what it started with. <laughs> I guess we're just gonna have to, uh, put this back on the guy. Let's see, who, uh... Yeah, as you can see, this is even better than our uh, than the legendary kung fu muscle now. I thought there was somebody else I wanted to put the uh, Eric maybe I don't know. <clears throat> um, you know though, Eric could uh, could really use an orb or two. Thing. Mm. You know, I'm just not gonna put, I'm just not gonna put this on anybody. <laughs> Instead, you can get our legendary common orb. That's uh, that's kind of an oxymoron there. <laughs> you know, that's how we roll. I'm surreal canine, and that is how I roll. So yeah, now that the. Uh, now the dimensional gate is all fixed up, we can go to Grosso's castle and, uh, see what the heck is up. I forget what the heck is up. Let's find out. Ooh, this is pretty. Actually, yeah, I think I will get my water. Be right back, guys. Okay, water is go. Not water is moo, we are we are not playing Baba here. We're just playing a thing. So this is the Krichevskoy group's base? Apparently. <laughs> I mean it, it, Grosso is the leader and Grosso uh, owns the castle, so it totally makes sense for this to be the base. <coughs> This place has a lot of expensive looking stuff. You want us to take it all, right? Plunder everything! Of course! Everything my old man owned is mine! And everything his group owns is also mine! Don't hold back! Take everything! Um, <clears throat> Maharo, don't you think you're losing sight of why we came? Look at those. No, Flan, look at those marble walls. We need them to build the perfect Castle Laharl. <laughs> yes, we're indeed taking the walls. We're playing Minecraft, everybody. Heck yeah. Well, well. Look who we have here. Prince Lahar. Grosso, you do not get a walking animation. You don't even have legs. I didn't think you'd get here so fast. See, he's like a he's like a chess piece or something. A very fancy chess piece, but still. <coughs> don't take me so lightly. If you don't want to lose all this stuff, you better accept me as your overlord. Again with the threats of violence. That's a great idea. Not to mention, that's quite a self-centered deal. Is this even okay? You tell me, Sicily. <laughs> hmm? An angel? Why do you have an angel with you? Well, she's Sicily, Laharo's little sister. What? That's, that's preposterous. 
His sister? <laughs> An angel? You expect me to believe such nonsense? It's not nonsense! I am Overlord Kuchetskoy's daughter, which makes me Big Brother's little sister! Do you take her serious, Prince? Do you trust this foolish angel? I haven't decided yet. However, she accepts me as the Overlord, which makes her that much better than you! Oh snap! Shots fired! <laughs> I thought you have no right to be the overlord. If this is about having an angel for a little sister, uh, I question your ideal vision of Krachevskoy. Well, we're getting ready. Feel free to sit here, Lord Prince. Huh. I'll make you sit here and look pretty. Here I come. What kind of comeback was that, Laharl? <laughs> All right, those things that are in the way. Increase defense as long as they don't move, yeah. Angry attorney! So yeah, defense, uh, defense is doubled. Uh, 130, 116, uh, could easily be a thing. Grosso is, uh, is Grosso, of course. <coughs> and we've got Archers. Uh, Archers, uh, deal more damage at a longer range, so, uh, yeah. The Fire Emblem rules apply here, just melee them to death. <laughs> Not like we weren't gonna do that anyway. I'm gonna do it! Let's mount up our mages and sally forth. Oh wait, that's uh, not the quite the thing I was going. Can't call for that. <laughs> but yes, I am just being weird. I mean, at least these guys don't resist wind, unlike the last several enemies. I mean, we definitely have the stats to be uh, to be just dealing with these guys head on. I say that, and then Laharl does not get in front of the guy I want him to get in front of. With a little bit of comboing, this is uh, easily doable. Eat it! Eat it! Open up with a uh, with a dark matter ether. And then, oh, I thought you had a spear. I don't know why I thought that, but uh, hurricane slash, and then. Okay, seriously, I need to rearrange all your special skills, Mr. Guy. You too. And also you. keeps things from getting stupid. I can just, uh, triple striping him out of the way. And then, uh, actually, no. Have Sicily open up with, uh, yeah, 451. I... Of course I can't reach. Dang it, Sicily. <laughs> <laughs> I see Sicily as more the fighting kind of angel than the uh, than the plundering kind. She would not get along well with Artina. Oh, did I forget to make Etna attack? I did. I 
Zero? I call shenanigans. Okay, well, we got rid of all of them, at least. Uh, and Etna is still standing, so let's bring her up here. And have her defend, why not? Alright. Oh, uh, nothing from the archers? Okay. Let's mega wind it up. These guys uh, resist wind, but maybe that is fine. Uh, let's see, can I reach 16? So. Probably not. Yeah, I can't even reach with a tri-burst, so uh, we're just gonna do the basic attack. <coughs> That's the thing with guns, they get really good vertical range, but uh, not on their special skills. Yeah, I can get... Uh, Laharo can get them with a boulder crush if he's uh, actually close enough. Get up. Hey, you. Wait, what? Really? Oh. Oh, the, uh, the pillars are ascending in height. Okay. Well, in that case... Uh... In that case, Etna, you throw, uh, you throw Rees way up here, and she can take, uh, this guy. Actually, no, I'm a little worried about, uh, what Gross is up to, so, uh, Rees can take on those guys. Can't reach with a wind. Alright, that's fine, I guess. Haro, you take on this one. I'm gonna do it. <clears throat> For a second there, I looked at OBS to see if anybody was uh, telling me something. <laughs> Maybe I've been streaming too much, I don't know. Antennae! Ooh, yeah, 92. That's uh, a bit problematic. Let's heal that back up. Uh, Sicily needs experience. And she doesn't have it. Sicily, why do you not have a healing spell? Are you okay? What kind of angel are you? Helicopter. It's like helicopter hair, but weirder. <laughs> All right, let's. That doesn't quite put you in the perfect. It does put them in the perfect place for a mega wind. It just leaves Grosso. Uh, get around, everybody, as I tell you the story of a guy who does not resist wind. He does resist wind, what am I talking about? He's weak to ice, go figure. Alright, well, if that's the case, then, uh, Salamander. And all that that entails. I wonder if if Etna can reach those uh, those guys with her uh, pretty raid. As it turns out, the answer is yes. Bree is as well versed in the ways of the Annihilator Beam. <laughs> 
another thing I've uh, considered Let's Playing, the uh, Metroid Prime Trilogy. It could be a thing. I have to, uh... Well, no, my Wii U is already plugged in. What am I talking about? I'm just talking about nothingness. Nothingness is where xylophone is neutral. The blade rush you, because that's the only thing that can reach. Like, I know all the titles of the book spells are probably literary references, but I wouldn't be able to tell you what any of the, what any of the references are about. Can I Mega Wind you? Yes, I can. We've already seen this animation. Just disappear! <laughs> Alright. And that was 16 minutes already, which is uh, definitely something. That means it is probably time to end this episode and move on to the uh, next character demo. Hang on a second. I think when we started uh, episode three, we got a uh, we got these. So uh, yeah, let's spend ten uh, money on let's uh, spend ten mana on Laharl and say I want to be left alone. They all scattered, so now we'll be able to find Etna and Flan uh, in the base. We'll be able to talk to them like any other characters, but more importantly, uh, there is nothing keeping us from going in here now. Looks like it hasn't been used in a while. What if we made Etna the main character? I know she's uh, she's been waiting for that for five whole games now. <coughs> Etna has become the main character. Oh, she doesn't want to. Alright. Well then, you know what we are going to do? We're going to make Home Run the main character! <laughs> you guys, uh... You guys want to make? You guys uh, want to make a new main character? Uh, stick your votes in. You know how it goes. The unit of the day is the lantern, also known as the pumpkin. These guys uh, have not actually made an appearance since Disgaea One. It's uh, pretty weird seeing them back. Your stats are, uh, you can see they're kind of a attack and speed heavy. Uh, good mix of physical stats there, I like it. <coughs> uh, since they're a monster class, obviously they get no weapon masteries of any kind, but their abilities are uh, really something. I might actually consider reincarnating Home Run as one of these guys. Uh, this one is Bad Trip, 50% chance to inflict a status ailment when attacking. That is nice and all. Uh, the one I really want, though, is Registry Reverse. Reverse plus and minus element values of adjacent units. Uh, we will no longer have to worry about guys resisting wind. <laughs> as, long as, one of the, as long as we want to have, have one of these folks around. And then there is Reverse Ailment, which reverses the effects and damage from status ailments. Pretty cool. Uh, let's see this guy's uh, unique skills in action. G 
Jackknife Jr. I didn't turn on the weapon. I didn't turn on the animations. <laughs> well, chalk this up to me being an idiot once again. Uh, that's fine. We got we got three monsters and four special skills. So, uh, once more with feeling. Single point piercing. That did he just drop a pin or something like like? What was that all about? <laughs> I sure as heck don't know, Mr. Guy. I'm just the guy who makes these. This is cool. Daniel Jacks. Oh no. What is this? Nino Cooney? <laughs> wow, that was uh, that was pretty flashy there, Mr. Pumpkin Man. Jack the Ripper inflicts the crate, huh? And none of the others inflict anything. Go figure. I'm pretty sure I've seen an effect like that either in the uh, in Radiant Historia or uh, Trails in the Sky. I don't remember which. One more, and then we are toast. Single point piercing. Jackpot for you. Ooh, double S. Okay, that uh, that confirms it. I'm definitely uh, definitely making home run a pumpkin. <laughs> Unless you guys have something else to reincarnate him as, which I will not know for sure for a good long while, because uh, I'm recording these uh, kind of a long time in advance. But you know, uh, just put in your opinions in the comments and I'll be sure to see them, because I don't get that many comments. <laughs> So yeah, that is a pumpkin. We didn't even have it disappear into the void.